First, there is a new twist in Charlottesville's Lee statue saga tonight. After all the hoopla when it came down and legal action over its donation to the Jefferson School, the Jefferson School's lawyer says things have changed. NBC 29's Destiny Harris gets us up to speed. It's our top story at 5. Hey Casey, this new information comes from a press release from Swords into Plowshares. It's part of the Jefferson School of African American Heritage Center. The Chavillian Station Battlefield Foundation wanted the statue. When it didn't get it, the foundation filed suit. Now that lawsuit has been streamlined. Christopher Tate is the attorney representing the Jefferson School of African American Heritage. He says the case originally contained what are called three causes of action. Action one was the statute in Virginia that governs war memorials. Action two was related to the law of public procurement and public contracts in Virginia. Both of those claims have now been dismissed and so what remains is a complaint uh, between Trevelyan Station Battlefield Foundation and the city alleging that the city didn't comply with the Freedom of Information Act. This all comes after the statute was taken down and donated to the Jefferson School in 2021. A lot has changed since the lawsuit started. There were originally two plaintiffs in this case. One plaintiff voluntarily dismissed their claims before this motion could be heard. The other plaintiff we asked the court to dismiss because that plaintiff lacked a legal concept known as standing. Lawsuits are about disputes between parties. Tate says, as of now, there isn't anything active on the docket as for next steps. I reached out to Trevelyan's Battlefield Foundation, and I'm still waiting to hear back. In the newsroom, Destiny Harris, NBC 29 News at 5.